You can count on it, sir. It's not just me, it's everyone back on Earth. Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces have to hold out until we deal with the enemy. I understand, Admiral. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Hey, she's finally free to move about. Holy shit. Only took about three hours. <laughs> The people, weapons, armies, and fleets that you've accumulated are your war assets. The overall readiness of the galaxy determines how effectively these assets will perform in the battle! Mikhailovic? Really? He's worth 25 points. Okay. Okay. Alliance first fleet, third fleet. Allers is five. <laughs> Damn! How are you worth more than a fleet? Get the fuck out of here. Commander Shepard uncovered significant element deposits. Elemental deposits. Scanning planets with the Normandy SR2. When the Alliance dry docked the Normandy, they ceased all recovered elements. This material surplus has gone towards the building the Peruvian device discovered on Mars. So how much do you need to get that 100 points? I wonder where I could have cut it off. Cause I scanned a lot. <laughs> I scanned every fucking planet. the name switch from side to side interesting window I can't believe the council won't help come on Sarah if Thessia was lost and earth hasn't been touched yet you can be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders yep 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 commander the alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on sanctum Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate commander come to check on your new recruit just wanted to see how you were doing still trying to get my bearings when I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. We're in the middle of a war, Specialist. We've got bigger problems than finding a toothbrush. Understood, Commander. <laughs> and to be clear, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> if I can help with the comm system and get you the intel you need to win this war, I'll have done more than I ever did in the lab. Was there anything else? I do end up in the military anyway. My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. Al although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. So I guess you didn't, weren't in it for the credits. You were in it for the technology? And you're telling me the private sector didn't have all that R&D? you were getting from the military. I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. Absolutely. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. Nothing can be done without Shepard. You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. GUI? Um, for me, anyway. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. Even if that freedom has its share of danger. If I recall correctly, you grew up on Mindwar. Yeah, way to bring up her past. You know her fucking family was raped and murdered, right? I mean, they were put in slavery, yeah. Given what happened to Earth, I don't think we can count on anywhere being safe right now. Quite true, Commander. Carry on, Specialist. Why 
Night's Force is stretching across the universe. These missions will open doors for the Alliance. I need you to hang on Cerberus Lab. Yay! You read a statement into the Alliance Navy for Admiral Anderson's recent verbal communication. You're given control of the SR2 Normandy. Further, you granted diplomatic authority to establish treaties with nine human races as required to support your mission. Yay. Flash, flash, flash. 1A.34. All Alliance military per <laughs> yelling at me. <laughs> Galaxy World World Alert. All Alliance military personnel are directed to evacuate the Soul System. Earth based Alliance personnel unable to evacuate are directed to commerce to any unnecessary countermeasures. In the absence of further instruction, independent action is authorized. We get to make our own decisions? Contractor for the interface and in trying to act V I E D <laughs> on my way out to Terra Nova and uh, you left your you left your robotic dog here? Okay. ANN unaffiliated with CNN. Papers are taking the systems after uh, paper is paced. This kind of force exodus might seem especially familiar. Nomadic quarians who pushed off their home world synthetic centuries ago. Turning an alliance spokesman cannot provide the fleet's current location. They say they may have other concerns at the moment. Oh boy. They're going through with it. After a refueling stop at Ilium, the fleet has left no stated destination. Why were they supposed to? Greedy and short sighted powers will always try to gain the upper hand in times galactic. Oh boy. They're going after the Geth. Dumbasses. Or suggested a small copy of gift that would be appropriate as it is shipping the captain. I show something that were familiar systems alliance catalogs. Soldiers who have held an instant designation for four or five years tied up to a commemorative hoodie jacket for wear on off duty hours. You can find the other one in captain headquarters. Research and spy at the terminal office convenience. You may choose how and when to implement it. Oh, thanks, Glyph. Surface attack Eden Prime is now occupying the colony. Forces da da da. In the process, we have learned that Surface has uncovered a major protein artifact. Uh, they're due to infiltrate the colony and recover it in Africa. Okay. Prior Eden Prime. To a door there. This ain't a captain's cabin. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. It really isn't their fault. You have to protect their own planets. Can't expect them to fucking pull their resources away from their plans and leave it undef undefended just to complete, completely defend the Earth. The Earth, it has its own problems, yes, but it's only one planet. It's not the whole universe. They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bambi never hung up on him. She gladly took on the challenge of debating them. And they lost every time. Yeah, you came out of that door. That's garbage over there, or storage area. Start from the bottom up. It's the Poochie. Hey, Poochie. Hey there. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. How am I gonna play this? Good work, Lieutenant. What have you got? 
Dios! Straight to business without even a hello? You two need to chill out. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So, you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo! I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. <sighs> the shuttle had weapons, puta! <laughs> How long have you been with the Alliance? About ten years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah, and I got a knack for procurement too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. So where were you and what were you doing when James had to fly the fled stupid ass fucking vehicle? What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. Yay! And it was never heard from again. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. Um, so that small piece of shit has uh, FTL and it also has stealth capabilities. Wow. Put that in every ship, okay? Why don't you just make every ship a fucking... <laughs> a prototype. I think this fucking war needs it. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The Collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Yeah, I heard about that in the last game. Not your situation, but Ferris Fields. Keep up the good work. Yes, Commander. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna upgrade any of these fucking piece of shit weapons. No! Ten percent markup. No, we didn't have that in the first game. How dare you? Fully automatic sniper rifle. Why is it so cheap? <laughs> hey, I didn't see that for sale. How dare you? I ain't gonna pay for that right now. Spare thermal clip. Ah, uh, 10% markup. Ah, oh, damn. That's 5,500 more. Wait, I thought it was 74. 75? 75. 7,500 more. Ow! No. I'd rather just travel to the Citadel and get it. 